Yeah, um, started the season off pretty well. Been working hard. 30 no right now. We got a big tournament coming up tomorrow and uh, Saturday up in Webster Schroeder, Monroe County Tournament. A lot of tough competition there. It's one of the best tournaments in the state, actually. So we'll see how it does. Hopefully tonight I'll find out my seed. Most likely their first or second seed. So far this year, without a doubt, I think. Uh, there's a kid from Hilton named John Valeri. His sophomore year, I believe he took second in the nation at sophomore nationals. He's pretty tough. Um, kid from Spencerport, John Trowina. Uh, I'm not sure on his accomplishments, but I've seen him wrestle. He's pretty good. Um, kid from Fairport is pretty tough. Uh, last name, Underdonk. I don't know his first name. He's uh, done decent this year. Definitely got a rest of your A game to beat those guys, but they're all beatable, and I think I can if I wrestle my best. Um, well, actually, this is the last time I'll be able to wrestle these guys this year because Batavia's dropped down to Division Two, so it's now we'll decide who's the best in Monroe County, especially seeing that I'm there now because this will be the last time I'll be able to wrestle them. You. Well, the state title, ever since uh, my brother started wrestling, I think 1999, I went to watch the go watch the state tournament with uh, my coach Ricky Stewart and ever since then I think pretty much it's been my goal to win that tournament. I've been doing what I can to win it but um, we'll see how this year goes. I'm going to need a lot of luck but I think I'm definitely able to do it. I've put in a, I've put in a ton of work especially wrestling. I stopped playing football in I believe it was the eighth grade to focus on wrestling and lifting and um, I'd say after my freshman year um, I was up at a heavy weight and I just noticed wrestling those guys, they were a lot more mature than I was physically. So after the end of my freshman year when I didn't even place at sectionals, I was done for the year, I dedicated my time to lifting and wrestling and the next year I ended up going to the states and winning a sectional title so I think it paid off. Uh, his older brother Bobby, uh, who was also a sectional champ here, uh, was a wrestler through high school and did well. Uh, Bobby was a three sport star type of guy and, and never had to, the passion that Ryan uh, has had for this game. I mean, Ryan not only works out constantly with wrestling, but he's also a student of the game. Uh, Bobby's primary sport was football, so uh, Bobby was pretty much a three-month-a-year, maybe four-month-a-year wrestler. Where well, Ryan is year-round, and uh, come the off-season, him and I will just go on the mat and break down technique after technique and see where we can do things a little different that we may have fell short at one time or another. But uh, And there's no question this, uh, this year-round wrestling for him has paid off. He would never be at the stage uh, of where he's at right now if he didn't do it. There's just way too much to learn in this game. Uh, I, I started late, you know, Ryan was fortunate enough. I mean, Ryan is so far ahead of me right now compared to where I was at at his age. Uh, again, they never had youth programs and I didn't even start wrestling until I was a sophomore in high school and it was mid-season before I even started. Uh, I played basketball and I don't know, I, I got tired of that. They told me uh, that you couldn't lift weights anymore or anything like that to be a basketball player. So I said, you know what, I'm going to sh shift gears and I've always liked to mix it up anyhow. So I started wrestling uh, as a sophomore, took a beating along the way. Final senior season was undefeated also like Ryan. Uh, Catholic schools, we didn't have a state tournament that I went to. We had our league tournament, which I won. That was it. Uh, I went on to wrestle at college, at, at Springfield College in Massachusetts, uh, and then come home, got into refereeing, had the children, and it, you know, was, started Bobby off in wrestling, and uh, again, he didn't have the passion that, uh, that, I was hoped he, that I hoped he had, which is fine, everybody's an individual, but Ryan had it, and that's what keeps me fired up every day coming to practice is uh, him and everything. So, um, so, so, so what we're doing with him is, uh, you know, that's why we're spending so much time on the mat. And it's been a pleasure with him because uh, it's refreshing for me to just have someone who has a passion that I could share the things that I've learned and pass them on.
Oh God, that this, I can't even think of that uh, right now to be honest with you and uh, I, we always talk if there's one thing I've tried to do is keep his head level. Uh, we have to look at one match at a time. This tournament itself is very tough. With, uh, he's got a tough kid this week. Uh, we've gone to nationals, we've done it all, and uh, I, I'm so proud of him regardless if he doesn't accomplish anything more. What pleases me the most is that uh, Ryan has learned how to have fun with this. He works hard uh, and has fun working hard, and I think that's what's kept his, uh, his desire at, at such a high level. And uh, to answer your question as far as winning a state tournament, uh, I... I just can't fathom that. Uh, he's certainly physically capable. There's no question in my mind. There's just a lot of things that go into winning a state tournament. Hopefully we got the good Lord shining down upon us on that day and we have our best tournament that we could ever have because if he goes that far, he will be facing uh, a uh, uh, the champion who won the state tournament last year, 160 pounds. Uh, I'm sure he'll be there also. So.